Hi, my name is Taylor Andrew. I'm a nurse practitioner and co-owner of Aquarian Clinic here in Tallahassee, Florida. We are a direct primary care office offering alternative to insurance. My mom went back to nursing school when I was nine years old after my parents got divorced. And I remember her opening up her anatomy textbooks on the kitchen table and sitting down and being fascinated with the pages and the body. Ever since then, I knew I was gonna be a nurse. I ended up getting a job working at a surgeon's office with her when I was a senior in high school. From there, I was working with insurance companies. I was helping file claims and working with them on the phone and had stacks of charts and spending hours a day in the office knowing that this wasn't the right way to take care of patients. I have been asked before if I've ever considered leaving the nursing field. And what I had thought about was not leaving the nursing field but changing the way I nursed. I lived in Lake Tahoe but California hadn't made those changes therefore I was able to practice independently in the state of Nevada so I commuted 45 minutes from Lake Tahoe to Nevada to be able to practice independently in a community health center. I had a child, realized I needed to come closer to my family here in Florida, and was able to see that Florida was on the forefront of making these changes for us to be able to practice independently. So I chose to come back to Florida. In 2018, they passed the legislation that direct primary cares are able to practice without the same rules and regulations as insurance. Therefore, patients have the ability to have direct access to their provider. Patients have the ability to not go through the red tape, no pressing numbers, no waiting to get back from your provider, hearing from nurses. And instead of using traditional insurance plans, you have a monthly subscription fee. So it eliminates a lot of the administrative work and it really gets down to the provider and the patient relationship. There is also a second piece passed, especially beneficial for me. In 2020, they changed that nurse practitioners, advanced practice nurses, can practice independently in autonomous practice. So I was one of the first nurse practitioners in the state of Florida to get my autonomous practice license. So with the combination of direct primary care as well as the autonomous nurse practitioner licensure, I have the ability to take care of patients that may not be able to get care. With the state of Florida, we also are able to have a dispensing license. So the patient may come into the practice, see me the same day, get diagnosed with a sinus infection, and actually leave with their medication. One of the questions I get asked is how I'm practicing differently compared to how I practice traditionally. I've been a nurse practitioner for over 10 years, and I've worked in multiple facilities with lots of different rules, regulations, and a lot of times what it comes down to is checking boxes for insurance reimbursement. So if you see a patient you have to make sure you're filling everything out appropriately, which actually most of the time doesn't mean anything for the patient. I have the ability now to document appropriately on my patients without wasting my time or my patient's time, which is one of the benefits of direct primary care. So you're truly able to educate the patient on the changes that they need to make as opposed to the eight minutes that you wish you could get in what you want to with them, but unfortunately you can't because you have another 20 patients waiting for you that day. So the patient leaves the office, they are happy, they are thrilled, with the service that they got and nobody leaves feeling like they needed to ask something else. And if they do, they can text me on a HIPAA compliant app and ask me anytime. So it's truly a provider's dream to be able to practice in a way that patients are getting the care they deserve, as well as me being able to ensure that I have the ability to care for them at the highest level possible. Thanks to the policy leaders, their wisdom, their effort, their time in the state of Florida, they have been able to make my dream come true and I am really excited for the opportunity for other policymakers in other states to also make that happen for other providers.